Beautiful, beautiful. Please show them. Product placement. Beautiful. Sennheiser headphones. Yes. Yes. They, these things are the GOAT. Gucci can confirm. Oh, my goodness. Can I, can I, can I advertise them a little bit? They're so good. Uh, yeah, here you go. These have honestly got to be some of the most comfortable like ear pads that I've ever experienced with headphones, and it's not like their customer add-on or anything like this. This is how they came. And this the, the nice part is uh, those headphones are Sennheisers, and all the headphones and headsets we use on the stream are also Sennheisers. That's that fantastic. company is so godly. Yes. All right. Wow. Getting into the match here, we got Pulse Ori versus DRC Maloney. Maloney, number eight on our PR this season, I believe. So. Is he PR? I don't he think he is PR. Yeah. He's nine. Number, number nine on the PR? Yep. Oh, he deserves right. it, dude. He really deserves it. He's shown up. Every time he comes to a regional or a tournament in Michigan with decent size, he's always in top eight. Mm -hmm. Always shows up to play. He took top. He was top eight at uh, Proving Grounds. He was top eight at all the last rebirths I can remember. <laughs> yeah. uh, always showing up to play. So definitely yeah. deserving. I, I'm actually looking forward to this match because... This is, I think, like some people think it's. Uh, oh, oh no! no. Ori shaking his head. He knows that was an unfortunate SD right there. Yeah, that was really sad to see. Yeah. And he was off to an even start with him too. Yeah, like that. Was, he was keeping neutral game pretty well, and just because Cloud has limit, it doesn't mean a whole lot because you can just throw him off stage and get rid of it just like that. Absolutely. So let's see if Ori can kind of bring this back. It's definitely not undoable for Bale. No, absolutely. And right now he is down a whole stock, but this game is not over till it's over. But with uh, Maloney having limit, this is definitely a very sc scary situation. We're getting close to the point where one limit break will kill. Yeah, he's getting clipped by Nears in neutral a lot. And it's it's really hard to say because Bayo is such a unique character with lots of unique options. That was a great that combo. Is one way to do it, and he gets him off the top. Is this pre-patch Bayo I'm watching? I can't tell. That was <laughs> sick. No, that like I think uh, Maloney could have air dodged uh, like before the up air hit him after the second up B. The reason that the up air connected at all is because the first up B that Bayonetta does sends you out. That's why she has to follow up with the side B. The second up B she does, you just fall afterwards. It does not have a final hitbox that sends you out. Yeah, he just wasn't able to find his way out of that, like you said. Mm -hmm. And it ends in a stock, but he still has a really comfortable lead here, 125%. And he's Ooh. got limit. This is really That's scary, it. and there is the stock with that up B out of shield. That is such a quick option with such a huge hitbox. Yeah, that's like, so scary. Especially against uh, Bayonetta's grounded side special. Like, yeah. It, like she just kind of flattened right out for him and gave her gave him a huge window to power uh, to not only shield it he didn't even have to power shield it shield the hit and then just up up he had a shield. And oh, absolutely. Here's a minor bracket update. Goof okay. beat Stewie. Nice. Okay, that's an upset. I've heard I've heard good things of Goof. Yeah, and no. I actually got to play him uh, a few weeks ago and he he wasn't half bad. I'm just gonna he was, I'm impressed. Good. I didn't think he was he would beat Stewie, but. Anyway. He, he's one of Michigan's up and coming Sonics and it's a really good thing to see. We really don't have a lot of Sonics. We 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 guess we have a few, but nothing none of them are except for Lou Rich. Yeah. There's really no notable Sonics in Michigan. I can't believe this went to Lila. I like it it makes sense because this was Ori's counter pick and I can see how Bayonetta's recovery might not be hindered so much, but as as much as Cloud's It's gonna hinder Clouds a lot more than it is gonna be Bayonetta's, so I think this is a great stage and Cloud will die a little bit early well, not earlier on this stage per se, but he'll still die relatively early on this stage. So yeah. it's definitely a, a good counter pick in that sense. He has to be really careful recovering when he doesn't have limit to just snap. Ooh. Yeah, absolutely. Going, just using limit, trying to anticipate an approach from Ori, but uh, not paying off for him. And now this is looking a lot more even than when you know Maloney was keeping even with limit. I was going to say, yeah, he's doing a great Ooh. job of just keeping this where it needs to be, but he's going to get him with the up smash, and that's quite unfortunate. We yeah. need to get up there. That was like a tipper up smash. He caught him like right at the edge of that hitbox, and it was just perfect spacing. Yeah, it was Ooh. game over, but we're going to get a witch time, and he is dead. Yeah. That Down was, and out. Yep. Leaving it as a trump card, that's one of the best things you can do as Bayonetta is just hold on to it until you really need it, and that's where he needed it. Got the stock. Yeah, that was also a good punish on the Lonely's part, that falling off air off the platform to punish Bayonetta. Even though she only used one side B, every time she presses a B move, she lands with a little bit more lag. Right. And so Maloney take, taking full advantage of that. Yeah, Maloney is one of the um, better players Ooh. I know of that can really download and really read uh, other players. So he's definitely taking advantage of that. And so you're seeing him uh, take advantage of a lot of Ori's, um, a lot of this lag that you're seeing, like you said. And yeah. just landing a lot of damage. 
that and like he's just playing neutral really safe and patiently, which is exactly how you need to play against Bayonetta, who can just witch time you and then kill you. Right, because uh, you know what she's looking for. All she's looking for is to get you in her combos. That's all she wants. It's how she builds damage. And, yeah. and he's doing a wonderful job of just staying out of that, forcing Ori to kind of approach here. And uh, he's got a limit. She's got 127. This is very frightening situation. Oh. Ooh, uh -oh. I like that, this going through the stage to put oh, on pressure. He, he, he hit him. Other, otherwise, that was a re-grab. Oh, is he going to get this kill? Well, no. He landed the up air, but it was kind of late. Yeah, uh, Melania oh, was just a little. The witch time. Whoa, the witch time through oh. the blade beam, but he almost gets him. Oh, my. With this massive spike from Melania. This just got super interesting. Oh, my God. Oh, oh he's, he followed up the folly up air with back air. Wow, those are two times Melania could have been dead with witch trist. I still can't believe he went through that blade beam, though. Yeah. Whoa. No. Oh. Oh, oh my oh god, my god that's, that's gonna, gonna do kill it! Up the top. No he, way. Of oh all my. ways to end it. I'm wondering if he could have even tech that. Cause I don't. He could have, but it, it that was a it really depended. tough tech. It was hard to see if he got the spinning animation. Because there was, there was like a quarter, a 25% chance that he just literally could not tech that.